Hey everyone, good morning. Zero dark 30, still dark outside, check this out. We are in Darwin, Australia. We're about to go fish. That's right, down under, catching fish. I was able to come down, to your, down here to Australia for work. Some of you know what that means. Some of you may have been down here in Darwin for work, but uh, got some liberty today and we got a fishing trip set up. So we're about to punch out of the Darwin Marina and catch some fish. Let's go. Captain just dropped an anchor. We're on some structure, and we're uh, we're about to drop some rods down. Just basic bottom fishing today. Uh, some hooks, some weights, and some bait. I'm just gonna drop it on the bottom. Hopefully, we get some bites. See, it's just a big uh, big weight there. Standard bottom rig, dropper loop. Looks like about a four or five odd hook. I'm just gonna drop it, drop it straight down in there and wait for bites. See the coast on the horizon there. Out of Darwin, Australia. Well, this is very easy for someone to walk past, trip the butt of that rod. You know what happens when someone's got that in their hand, they drop it straight in, guys. Don't always have that here at the bottom of it. Here we go. We're fishing. I'm getting plenty of little bites. Now you can tell the bite. It'll it'll be like tap 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 tap. No way. Got the first one. Got the fish. Got the fish on. Get him. Is he there? We got one over there too. Yeah? Oh, they got a they got a mess. What's he got? Some kind of little There we go. Monster. Monster fish. <laughs> And then there we go. There's my first fish of the first fish of Australia. Right there. Whatever that is. It's like a little bottom fish, snapper. Some kind of snapper looking fish. Let's see. Got a decent fish there. There we go. Two or three pounds. Nice. Go back to our side of the boat. I'm getting some taps. Pull in a little bit. Yeah, All right. All right. Big brim or something. <laughs> See it in the water there? Yeehaw. Nice. There you go, get him. Get him. Get him. Shark. 
guys, so if everybody winds up. Everyone wind your lines up, All right, moving around the boat now. He says he got a shark. The only way you're going to stop this fish is to thump its left hand here, like this. And right, you use the boat. So see those little waves? It's like little ones like this. You can still say that you got it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's that fishing story. Sorry, bud. I thought it was going to happen sooner Dang. or later. Just came off right there on the corner of the boat. Didn't even get to see him. It's right there. Oh well. It's time to go back to fish. Well, since we uh. We broke off that shark. The captain says we need to move because those sharks will just hang out here in the same spot and they'll just keep biting. So we're going to pull up the anchor and try another spot. Good old bottom fishing. Drop it down and wait for a bite. Yeah, I'm recording. Tell me what I got. What is that thing? A leopard shark. Leopard shark, like they would. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Interesting. It's nine dollars. Cool. And you said it would be worth a few thousand dollars with an aquarium. Seven thousand dollars. Dang. Nice. Good deal. Throw them back. Winding up and nothing. So we got a little bear, bear of Monday over here. So we just moved spots again. And he's checking the GPS, checking his numbers against the fish finder over here. See what he can see. See if there's anything on the bottom. You can see that big blip on the bottom right there. Some big structure, maybe school of fish. And we just moved in show closer to shore. You can see the uh, shoreline up in front of us. You can see that big blip on his uh, depth finder screen there. Maybe we'll get into a few more little fish, little bottom fish. snapper thing there. Reeling up over here. Bites back here. A little tap, 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 tap.
good one there. Almost looks like a gag grouper. Jack. Nice. great fishing but it was standard uh, bottom fishing type stuff if you want to take your families and catch a whole bunch of little little uh, biters get your pole bouncing a little bit but uh, it was just a half day trip and that's how those kinds of trips usually end up it's weight hooks drop it on the bottom wait for some bites and uh, hopefully maybe you get something unusually big to come by but on these short half day trips it seems like anywhere in the world I've been on a few of them on uh, both the East Coast West Coast out here in Australia now and uh, those short half day bottom trips are just kind of like just enough to say you went fishing, but it was a good trip. I can say I went fishing here in Darwin, Australia, but I got to come back and try to catch some real fish. All right, this is where we're headed. Adelaide River, Queen Jumping Crocodile Cruise. Let's go see some jumping crocs. Okay, so since I didn't catch any fish, we're gonna come up here and see some crocodiles. Round out this video with some action. All right, let's see what we can uh, see here on the Adelaide River, Darwin, Australia. Crocodile hunting. They're everywhere. You're traveling on the Adelaide River. It runs for about 180 kilometers in its entire length. Starts up in the southern boundaries of the Litchfield National Park area and it runs out to the ocean in front of us. It's a tidal river and at the moment we have an outgoing tide. People excrete salt from their body while they live in salt water. Salt water crocodile does not need to live in salt water at any time throughout its life and if it does it has to find a fresh water body from time to time to help with the whole desalination process. There is also a freshwater species of crocodile found in the northern parts of Australia, known as a freshwater crocodile or Crocodilus johnstoni. <laughs> Now there's quite a big crocodile alongside us, so I'm going to try and interact with him on both sides of the boat, all right?
So some of the features of the Crocs quotes. I don't know. He's got a disc like feature on the end of his snap. All right, folks, that's about it. We caught a few uh, little fish, a few Australian fish, nothing special, but hey, it was, a, it was a chance to go fishing in Australia, and then we got to go see these guys back here in the Adelaide River, the original Jumping Croc uh, River tour. So if you're ever in the Darwin area, I recommend it. Coming out here and uh, check out some crocs jumping in and eating some uh, pig snouts. That's what they were feeding them off the end of those strings. But uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to try to post some more for you, some more fishing and hunting adventures on our link. Thanks.